So the other day, a boy said to me, why do you people make being a woman sound like a disability, like we've cut off your arms and cut off your legs and asked you to crawl a thousand miles or we've cut off your arms? And I thought to myself, <laughs> I mean, you just referred to me as you people. I mean, you've already separated me from you. And I mean, anything that I say from here on is just background noise to what you crave most obedience, silence, silenced. Just like all those women in history who never made it in history. And now all we have is his story. <laughs> Plato, Aristotle, his story. Winston Churchill, William... Ch William Shakespeare, Charles Dickens, his story. Kwame Nkrumah, Haile Selassie, his story. Deden Kimathi, Tom Boyer, Harry Suku, his story. And no, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with their story. I'm saying there's nothing right about her story. Because when it comes to her story, it's been drilled into your heads over generations of narrations that the ogre was a woman, the genie was a woman, the spy was a woman, the weakling was a woman, the caste was a woman, the forgotten is a woman. And man, you roll your eyes now saying these are just tales of the past. So let me tell you stories of the present, glimpses of our reality that is your normality. Because man, I get home from school and my brother throws his uniform on the floor, but you say, hey, pick it up. Man, the boys are done eating and go out to play, but you say, hey, drop their plates in the sink, clink, clink, sweep away their mess, you'll be blessed. Man, I can't watch a football match without you yapping. Hey, you know why the referee wears black, right? I mean, maybe because he's about to go to your funeral. I mean, my reproductive system isn't shaped like a boxer for no reason. And I mean, your ignorance will be the cause of your abrasions because still, man, I can't show any emotion without you asking, is it your time of the month? Man, I report to you that a male professor sexually harassed me, but hey, these things happen. Man, I get paid twice less than the male employees I manage, but hey, maybe you're not aggressive enough. Man, I have a master's degree in physics, but the new guy with no university education, the one with the inability to do mental math gets the promotion because hey, we need a male figure for this position. Man, you tell me that I'm only good enough to be a co-pilot because, hey, your brain is too female to manage an entire aircraft full of families. Man, you discourage me from pursuing a PhD because, hey, your ultimate place is in the kitchen. What do you need a PhD for? Man, I tell you, man, I tell you, I tell you that women are dying, but you say, they dressed for it. They asked for it. Stop overreacting. Stop overreacting. As if my ovaries are now sitting where my brains used to be. See, while I will my fist to stop shaking, I need you to hear me. You will not silence me like you silenced the voices before me. I am not a liability. You're my disability. I will cause a scene. I will run. I will march down the streets, screaming at the top of my lungs about the very simple notion that is apparently too complex for that portion of the male population. The fight for women's rights is the fight for human rights. So 100 years from now, my daughter's daughter and her daughter's daughter and their daughter's daughter don't wonder where in history they lost their voice.